Hi everybody, welcome back to the Steam Deck and in this video we're going to be looking at Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Game Streaming to the Steam Deck. Specifically we're going to be looking at Starfield because I know there's probably many people out there who um, look at game streaming, the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate service, maybe you've even already got it on your PC or your console and you're thinking well is it worth putting it on my Steam Deck or is it worth subscribing to have it on my Steam Deck and um, you know does it work, you know, is it any good, all this sort of thing. In the description below this video what you'll find is a link to the Microsoft article about how to install um, Microsoft Game Pass Ultimate game streaming on your Steam Deck. It's a little bit involved, you need to do it in um, desktop mode you need to really have a keyboard and mouse attached to your steam deck to do it but once you've got it working trust me on your home wi-fi if you've got broadband it works very very well indeed not in my experience it's not that brilliant um when you're uh, using a in fact it's a bit crap when you're using a wi-fi hotspot um off your phone for example but we're jumping in starfield now so you can kind of be able to see how it works and what it's like but for me i, I yeah i'm a convert i think this is really really good now there's going to be certain times when there's going to be lots of other people on your network where it doesn't work very well or the internet in your area is a bit crap or it's, if it's a new title uh, that's come to uh, game streaming that you're like that you can't get on because there's a queue but for exploring and playing lots of different games on your steam deck very very quickly which don't take up any storage space on your steam deck um and don't stress the processor so you get massive battery life when you're doing this. This is a quite a, a compelling use case. I mean, what, you get approximately, round about the moment, 400 games on the cloud service on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now, they are the console versions of these games that you're playing. But with the fact that the Steam Deck only has a 1280 by 800 display... I think that's a big reason why this works so well because it's not having to try and funnel uh, a, excuse me, a 1080p or a 1440p or a 4K um, uh, display um, down in, in down over the internet and that's why it works so well. Now, I've, I've had to go with things like uh, Battlefield to play a little bit of... Um, let's just do this. To play a little bit of uh, like a first-person or a third-person shooter and I don't think that's the best case argument for using um, uh, game streaming because although the latency in my experience is really good and I haven't noticed much lag at all you know when you press the buttons to do things um, they tend to do them uh, can we go to third person in fact that's a bit of a spoiler that we don't really do that um, in shooters that can be very very critical indeed so we're walking around the, the spaceport here in Starfield really can't see any artifacting at all and i would say here at home i have average um internet you know we have well now i would say we probably have below average uh broadband and this works fine i guess if you know other people in the house were all using um, netflix or something like that it would degrade but most people in the uk probably have better broadband than i have here and this is, uh, I'd be more than happy to lie on the couch or sit in the bed and play Starfield, you know, like this. And of course, we're playing the console version. So anything you, any progress you, you do here, if you've got Starfield on console, um, in fact, I think on PC as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's cross save between console and PC Starfield. So if you find up, find up PC on your console and or on your uh, your xbox series s or series x you know progression would be there let's get into the spaceship and have a look around there's our um thank you how do we get in it's been, i'll admit it's been a while since i played starfield do we go up here we must do Very nice.
Let's uh, take off. Right, we should be in space now. Now, you probably noticed that this is running at 30 frames a second, but that's because the console version of Starfield does run at 30 frames a second, so it's not no fault of the Steam Deck now. Let me remember how to do this. Can I remember how to system? Nope. It's been that long since I played this. I can't remember how to... Aha, right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Where else can we go? Narian, what's here? And an abandoned outpost. Let's go and land on a planet, shall we? Starfield, by the way, is a most excellent game. It's definitely worth playing. I know there's been quite a lot of um, criticism of Starfield. Maybe people are disappointed they weren't getting completely getting um, Fallout in space, but it has its own. It's, it's a different game, you know, but it has a lot of Bethesda's strengths. So how do we land? He says, trying to figure it out. Land. There we go. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed my playthrough all the way through, but it's. Uh, Fantastic game in the fact that it does have New Game Plus, and the New Game Plus is amazing in the way that it works. So you can keep playing it and keep playing. So although it doesn't quite have the same huge like wasteland experience you would get in Fallout 4, there's a lot of fast travelling in Starfield. You know, you're travelling from one, one place to the to the other all the time. You know, jumping from one place to the other. Um, let's get out of the ship. Um, there's lots to explore, and in fact, with my... Uh, playthrough that I did I probably probably still got 60% of the game um, still to play Ooh, I can't remember how to choose my guns <laughs> tell you what because I'm a bit rusty let's go for a walk this way anyway and again it's streaming very nicely all the controls seem See if I remember. Maybe I haven't got a gun. Uh, where's inventory? There's all my skills. Health. That's my ship. Oh, I can't remember. I'm going to have to watch a, one of my own guides, beginner's guides to... Starfield, but look, all looks very, very nice indeed. So if you've got any doubts about whether Starfield plays well on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate uh, streaming to your Steam Deck, the answer is um, it plays very, very well indeed. It plays as well as the console version. And okay, so maybe it's not quite as sharp, you know, as when you're playing a game that is uh, installed natively on your Steam Deck. But I tell you what, it's pretty damn good. And the fact that you don't have to install something that's, you know, 100 gigabytes that's going to chew through your storage and is available kind of instantly to play, I think is absolutely fantastic. So there we go. Starfield streaming to my Steam Deck. This is the 512 gigabyte OLED model. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. Definitely check it out. Remember with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can uh, normally get a uh, trial, so you can try it out for a month, for normally for about a dollar. Normally in the UK it's about £12.99 a month, but remember you are getting Game Pass Ultimate on your console and PC at the same time, and EA Play as well on your console and your PC. Um, so if you like playing lots of different games, um, 
and you don't want to fill up the uh, space on your Steam Deck, I think this is a, a really viable option to to the gamer who yeah plays loads and loads of different games and wants access to what, lots of different games. Anyway, that's enough from me. What do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. And of course, I'll see you again soon.